Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Seed World Innovation Series webinar. My name is Alex Martin, and I serve as editor for Seed World, and today I'm happy to be your host. Today's theme is developing custom value added performance seed coatings, more than just color. Um, I'd like to take a minute to thank Clarient and Standard Colors for partnering with us on today's Innovation Series webinar. Present, uh, we have a nice lineup of speakers for you this morning, but I'm only here to introduce our first speaker of the day. Um, presenting the webinar today is Lisa Goulibon. Uh, Lisa is the technical sales manager of special applications for Clarient. Um, Lisa is actually also the commercial contact for the Ag Grocer Colorants in the U.S., and she has over 25 years of experience in the specialty chemicals industry. She also has a degree in chemistry and an MBA in marketing. Uh, in just a minute, Lisa will also be introducing three more speakers that are going to help lead us through our presentation today. But before that, I wanted to let you know that you're probably going to have some questions for our speakers, and that's absolutely wonderful. We'd like you to type those into the chat box at any time during the webinar, and we're going to address those during the Q&A session we'll hold after all of the speakers finish their presentation. Um, also, we'd like to let you know, we're going to have a few poll questions for you to answer throughout the presentation. These are going to pop up in your chat box, so make sure you're on the lookout for them. We'd also like to let you know that today's webinar is being recorded and will be made available at seedworld.com following the proceedings. We'll also be sending out an email with a link to the webinar, just in case you miss it on the website. Now, I think it's time to get on to the bigger show. So today, today's high value seed dem demands higher quality performance and visual appeal. Um, in this webinar today, just to give you a sneak peek, we're going to learn how you can improve your brand with collaborative coding development. Um, that means that a few of the topics we're going to cover include what goes into premium seed coatings, what the benefits are of making your own custom seed coating, and what some of the challenges are. But I don't want to hog any more of the microphone today, so I'm going to go ahead and let Lisa take it from here to introduce the rest of our speakers. So go ahead, Lisa. Thank you, Alex. Thank you for that introduction. And thank you to Seed World as well for giving us the opportunity to share this webinar today on your platform. And welcome. Welcome to those joining us today. I would also like to extend a special thank you to you. We really do appreciate your time and attention. So before we get into the webinar topic today, I'd like to just take a little bit of time to give you some additional information about our companies. For those of you that just may not know us, Standard Colors has been in existence for over 40 years, and they are leading colorant supplier for a broad range of industries, and they have comprehensive knowledge of color chemistry. Standard's Agro Group has extensive experience in the seed treatment industry, and their staff closely collaborates with customers to develop customized solutions. They have the flexibility to respond quickly, to meet needs of the customer, and provide creative solutions and outstanding technical support. Standard in 2020 opened a new testing facility for seed coding development with separate laboratories for formulation and applications to further expand their, agri expand their agricultural capabilities. Now, Clarient, we've been producing pigments since 1863 and dispersion since the 20s. We are one of the largest global manufacturers of pigment and dispersions. We utilize our backward integration into pigments and additive manufacturing to ensure consistent product quality. Our Agricer line of pigments and pigment dispersions are dedicated products for the agricultural industry. We have supplied this industry for, with colorants for over 25 years. These co colorants are globally available and they are compliant, including the US EPA tolerance exemption for food use. Clarion's global production concept is to have a main production site and a second site as a backup position for the major pigments in our portfolio. Our standards are globally harmonized. So that means 
Wherever the pigment is made, they're all standardized the same. This is quality and supply assurance that you can count on. So let me just tell you a little bit more about Clarion and Standard Colors and our strategic alliance. This was driven by market knowledge and demand, as well as our commitment to the agricultural industry. We formed a strategic partnership in 2018 so that we could serve the unique needs of the agricultural market. We want to provide top technology, outstanding technical support, innovative customer solutions, and a wide range of color and solutions. We want to be the one source for the Clarion Agricultural Solutions and the standard of service and innovation serving agro needs. This alliance is one with flexibility, providing speed of service, packaging size, customization, help with formulations, specialty blends, and so much more. We want to provide functional products. So it's not just about color, as part of the title says in our webinar. It's about building a line of polymers, plantability products, and other functional pieces. And it's all about customization as well. We will work with you to establish key functionalities and special blends, providing you your solutions. So let me take a few minutes to introduce to you the Standard Agro team. We have Mr. Kevin Brost. Kevin is the Vice President of Marketing and Business Development. He has over 35 years experience in the seed treatment industry, and he has been on development teams for several major pesticide brands. Kevin was Seed Treatment Global Business Manager with both Chemtura and FMC. And let me introduce John Kidney. John is the Vice President of Technology. John has over 35 years experience in seed treatment formulation development, and he has been on development teams for several major pesticide brands. John was the Global Seed Treatment Technical Manager with Chemtura and FMC, and a Formulation Manager with Gustafson. And finally, let me introduce Doreen Heath. Doreen is the Director of Technical Development. She has 10 years experience in dyes, pigments, product development, and manufacturing, eight years experience in ag formulation development, including seed care, herbicides, and lawn and garden products. She's been on development team for many major pesticide brands. Doreen was previously the Assistant Technical Director at Standard Colors and Formulation Chemist at Syngenta Crop Protection. And so with that, I turn the rest of this webinar over to Doreen and she will be our next presenter. Okay, so thanks Lisa. Now that you have a good understanding of the background of our companies, let's dive into the key topics of this webinar. We hope at the end of this presentation, you will learn five key points. First, we, look at, we will look into what factors will be considered and what elements can be built in when developing a premium seed coating. Second, we will consider many of the potential benefits of developing a custom coating jointly with a world-class colorant supplier. We will also share with you our vision of why a partnership with Standard Colors Agro Group and, Cl and Clarion makes it good business sense for your company. We will share with you some of the challenges we have successfully overcome when developing custom seed coating products for our customers, both visually and in overall performance. And finally, we will share with you how our experience and technical capabilities will allow you to harness new business opportunities for your organization's seed technology. Okay, so let's all make sure that we're on the same page. What exactly is a premium seed coating? Seed coating is the process of applying agronomically beneficial products directly to a seed in order to provide improved resistance for both physical handling and a number of external elements to allow for improved germination and more robust plant development. Functional seed coatings are typically polymer-based technologies that are applied to a variety of seed types prior to planting in order to help improve physical application performance, such as the ability of the treated treatment to adhere to the seed and the ability of the treated seeds to flow properly through specialized treating and planting equipment. Some other common physical properties that should be assessed when developing a seed coating include appearance, dust control, and the drying time of the seed coating itself. You may also ask what the purpose is of adding colorants to a seed coating. The EPA requires that colorants be incorporated into seed coating products in order to identify that the seed has been treated. 
The color provides a visual distinction between treated and untreated seeds in order to protect livestock as well as to address other concerns. A seed treatment formulation can incorporate a large number of components, which can make developing a quality product quite challenging at times. In addition, the to, in addition to traditional crop protection active ingredients that include fungicides, insecticides, nematicides, biologicals, and inoculants, seed treatment formulations often incorporate another, a, a number of other inert ingredients to improve the stability and performance of the formulation, such as colorants, binders, surfactants, antifoam, antifreeze, dust control, additives, thickeners, adjuvants, antimicrobials, and many more, and possibly many more um, types of products. The goal of the, a well-formulated seed treatment product is to provide a more environmentally friendly means to protect and enhance crops as an alternative to more traditional application methods. In addition to the biological and physical application benefits that can be built into custom coatings, there are additional business and marketing advantages that can also allow, allow you to set your products apart from your competition by creating a unique custom seed coating. The high quality seeds on the market today come with a premium price tag and frequently contain several different treatment products that add more value. Why not develop a complete product that, protect, that both protects the built-in quality and performance while visually reflecting that value as well? Your product is unique, so why not make sure that your product stands out visually against your competition? The diversity of the Acrosur line of colorants makes it possible for us to develop a wide range of custom colors to identify your company's brand and trait recognition with the security of knowing that all of our colorants have been specifically formulated and approved for use in seed and treatment applications. Finally, by developing a, seed, a custom coating, you will be able to boost your overall value by incorporating technical improvements into your existing products, which can include uniform coverage, improved seed flow, overall enhanced appearance, as well as a range of other performance improvement opportunities. The Standard Color and Clarion Partnership was established with the goal of creating a unique opportunity for our customers. We have assembled a highly knowledgeable technical staff that knows seed and seed treatment formulations as, uh, through, a, very, through a highly diverse range of ex background and experience. We are proud to offer 30, over 35 years of global agricultural coding and coloring experience and support to our customers. We understand the challenges and requirements of the seed treatment industry and, are, and fully understand your issues and concerns. By partnering with us, you, we can provide you the opportunity to expand your portfolio without expanding your staff or budgets. Our unique partnership allows your organization to have access to both a global colorant leader as well as a leading North American seed formula formulation experience at your fingertips and with a single supplier. You can also count on top-notch quality and supply benefits by utilizing the experience and manufacturing expertise of a global colorant manufacturer combined with the speed and agility of a regional colorant supplier. We are familiar with your challenges and we are here to help. We are proud of our history of helping our customers overcome a wide range of challenges. Here are just a few of the many areas that we, have, we can help you improve your products. We can build in improvements to both color strength as well as an overall coverage of the seed treatment, uh, the coverage on the seed, or we can assist in development of custom colors for your company or give each product its own unique appearance. We can even make your seeds sparkle and shine. We can improve seed handling properties in order to reduce degradation, improve flow properties, and eliminate bridging itch issues. We can help resolve treating process issues even before they're identified by your customer, and we can provide alternatives to existing products that have been identified as in need of improvement. We do enjoy a challenge. Here are a few examples of recent successes that we have shared with our customers. We have helped advanced biological marketing to develop a unique one-of-a-kind combination product for the seed treatment industry. This unique product combines our customer's, new, our, our customer's nutrient additive package enhanced with a proprietary seed coating technology. Grow Flow will launch in early 2021, and we are pleased to have been a part of the development of such a high-quality product that all involved can be very proud of. We have also developed a unique color and appearance product for a small seeded vegetable customer. We have helped our customers create a brand new look or maintain their existing brand image while improving specific performance criteria. 
and we have eliminated significant rub-off issues observed with challenging seed types when developing a customer's performance, a customer's performance coding. We believe that quality is not just a manufacturing metric. Quality is built into everything that we do. We understand the quality of seed treatment begins with the treating process and ends with crop emergence. We take the pride in the fact that our products are fully optimized by our staff with, experience, with the experience and knowledge to strive for superior application performance. Our products are not only developed to meet and exceed the industry standards, but the products we develop must also meet the high standards of our experienced staff. Our knowledge of the seed industry means that seed safety will always be our top priority. In addition, in addition, we always evaluate our products for long-term stability to make sure they meet our high-level expectations. We have implemented and utilized very effective manufacturing and quality control measures in order to give our customers the confidence our products will be dependable and of the highest quality standard will be met time after time. Providing ongoing technical support and troubleshooting resources to our customers long after their project has reached completion is a commitment we take seriously and pass on to our clients. We share the same values. The agriculture field is a constantly evolving environment. Our, our chemists work hard at our commitment to address, uh, of addressing the current issues in our industry. We work hard at keeping ahead of the curve by delivering what our customers need. This includes in developing TSP-free products upon request, eliminating microplastics, developing highly concentrated products to reduce packaging waste, and keeping abreast of emerging issues and making sure our products meet our customers' standards. Being environmentally responsible today ensures that we will be responsible in the future. This concept drives our development now and ensures our sustainability in the future. So what sets us start apart from other colorant suppliers? The answer is in the technical expertise we bring with our partnership with you. We are a colorant supplier that has created a branch of our business specifically focused on the needs of the seed treatment industry. Seed treatment is what we do. We know what our, our we know your challenges and your and the requirements that you face, and we are here to help. Our products not only meet EPA standards, but we have taken the additional step to add our products to the 40 CFR trade name list so that you can have confidence in offering our products to your customers. We also have taken the step of conducting our own seed safety studies and provide you with the data so that you can rest assured. We have a dedicated seeds lab to provide you the data that you require and have confidence in our products. We test so that you can rest and in the end, you can be confident that our products will help your business grow. So before there is an end, there is a beginning. So let's talk about how we define a new product. It all starts with collaboration. Our technical staff will sit down and brainstorm with your team to help define your needs and to fully understand your objectives. We work hard to understand project specifications early so that we are all on the same page. Our products are defined by specific performance criteria and a thorough testing regime is defined in a collaborative manner. During the development process, we report, in, we report progress in with regular project updates to your staff, which includes not only your sales contact, but our technical experts as well. We, we were, are committed to providing prototypes during the development process to your internal, for your internal invest, evaluation and feedback. Your assessment is the driving factor before we finalize any project. We are here to support any proposed solution or unique project op opportunity, whether that involves laboratory assessment, scale up, or field trials. We are here to support your needs and respond accordingly. So we've talked a lot about the expertise we have to offer. So let's focus now on the equipment and instrumentation we have in our laboratories. We, are open, we opened our dedicated seeds lab in Charlotte, North Carolina in January, 2020. Our lab is broken down into two separate labs, one focused on formulation development and the other focused solely on seed treatment application. In our formulation lab, we offer extensive capabilities. These capabilities include high and shear low mixing ability, low shear, low, high and low shear mixing ability, covering a wide range of batch sizes. We also have instrumentation to track many physical assessments, including microscopy, rheology, pH, and density. We have a range of ovens and freezers to be able to assess our product stability upon storage, and we have access to a fully functional analytical laboratory, as well as biological testing, such as rhizobia compatibility as needed. Our seed treatment lab is equipped with multiple seed treaters to, make, to meet your needs, regardless of seed 
type or scale. We offer dust testing, wet and dry flow testing, and have a large inventory of seeds, seed types, and varieties to evaluate our products. We also have a world-class colorant laboratory with 100 years experience. The Clarion Innovation Center, also located in Charlotte, North Carolina, is dedicated to the development of fundamental pigment and dispersion products. In addition to Charlotte Laboratories, which focus on supporting the North American region, we also have dedicated labs in Germany and India to offer customized solutions in their regions as well. These labs are equipped with a wide range of dispersion technologies and platforms to effectively sim simulate a wide range of conditions. We have a total of 12 global production facilities in order to geographically be close to our customers so you can be assured that of product availability in your region. In addition, due to the fact that Clarion also produces a number of key raw materials that go into our pigment products, we can also guarantee consistency, quality, and regulatory compliance every time. Just one more way that you can relax and have confidence that you will receive the product that will meet your expectations today, as well as years down the road. The quality of our products are tested to the same standards that you hold your own products to. Storage stability is evaluated for up to three years for seed treatment coatings and for one month for tank mix compatibility testing. We stress our products under a range of storage conditions to represent accelerated aging, as well as freeze-thaw assessments to ensure products perform up to your as well as the industry's high expectations. In addition, based on our knowledge of your product, we conduct tank mix compatibility studies with other seed treatment products, custom blends, and a variety of tank mix additives to ensure that there are no incompatibility issues down the road. Formulation robustness can be tracked by a number of physical metrics, and our lab is fully equipped to track them all. The primary testing parameters we track include viscosity, pH, particle size, phase separation, sedimentation, rehomogenization, pumpability, sip testing, and other testing as defined by the specific project. This data is collected for a minimum of 12 weeks and all of the data collected by our labs is fully shared with our customers. Rest assured, this data will continue to be collected and shared for up to three years to assess long-term shelf life stability. Formulation stability, though it is an important factor, is only half of the challenge of developing a premium seed coating product. We offer a range of application testing methods to understand how our product will perform for your customers. Our application testing is designed to give an overall assessment of the product's application performance. We verify use rates and measure overall appearance and uniform coverage on the seed. Application testing is utilized to optimize our formulation to minimize buildup and to ensure the ease of cleanup of the, on the, the equipment after application. We have invested in state-of-the-art technology to assess wet and dry flow characteristics of the treated seeds, which also may include bridging and dusting characteristics of the seeds once they are treated. We have also access, have access and utilized proprietary testing methods developed by our technical personnel based on years of experience in the seed treatment industry to determine what works and what's most important in meeting your customers and your company's custom product requirements. So just as there is a beginning, there is a final checklist that every development project must meet before any project is finalized. These final stages of project approval include final approval by the customer of the end prototype with regards to composition, stability, and performance. Completed seed safety verification data is assessed and approved both internally and made available to our customers. Final regulatory compliance and reach status verification is signed off on on all of our products before they are approved for use in our, in our manufacturing products and before they are released to the market. And finally, fully defined project specifications are approved and detailed manufacturing documentation is, pre is prepared and verified through production trials prior to launch to minimize any potential production issues that potentially could arise upon scale up. From conception to launch, we are committed to high quality standards unsurpassed by any colorant supplier in the industry. Well, that wraps up our presentation for today. We'd like to thank you all for your time and attention at today's webinar. We would also like to thank Seed World for the opportunity to share our vision with you, our potential customers. It is our hope that you walk away today having a better understanding of what our customer, what our a better understanding of our company and what our collaboration has to offer your business. In summary, we have learned what elements go into a seed pre premium seed coating, 
we have communicated a number of benefits to your company that can, that your company can gain by collaborating with us to develop a custom C coding for your business. We have shared how your unique collaboration between Clarion and Standard Colors could allow us to be your perfect partner um, with your company to build a unique custom coding for your product line. We have illustrated how we have solved a number of challenges for our customers, allowing their seats to look and perform their best. And we finally have seen how our custom coatings can allow your company to achieve better, a better positive business impact for your brand seed technology. If you have any questions following the completion of this webinar, please feel free to reach out to us. You can direct any technical inquiries to myself or to reach out to, or reach out to Kevin Bros for business opportunities, sales or marketing questions. We will always be happy to help. Please also visit the webinar landing page. The link can be found on this slide. From the landing page, you can request samples, literature, or a consultation. Simply by registering here, we will send you a free Agrisur notebook and a clearing giraffe. In addition, if you are one of the first 20 requests we receive for a, for a consultation on the landing page, you will also receive a $10 Starbucks digital gift card. So thank you again for your time and attention. We look forward to hearing from you. We would also like to now open the floor for questions. In addition to myself and Lisa, John Kibbe and Kevin Brooks are also online available to help answer your questions as well. Well, thank you so much, Doreen. Um, I'd like now for us to sit and do a short Q&A session. So we're going to ask Lisa, Kevin, and John to join us as well. Um, now, if you have a question that you haven't been able to ask yet, please go ahead and type it into the chat box now. And um, we will address it as best as we can in this session. But I'm going to go ahead and jump us off with the first question we ended up having. And now, John, this question is to you. Um, how does seed coat coating increase germination? And what's the process behind that, if you wouldn't mind sharing with us? Sure. That's, that's um, as far as uh, impact of germination of the seed on seed coatings, the benefit of improved seed germination is primarily due to disease control, uh, which is from the fungicide uh, component. We don't get involved in the fungicide itself, but we do help it to work as, as well as it possibly can. Our work in, on ensuring uniform coverage and uh, making sure that the treatment stays on the seed rather than uh, falling off during handling and planting, that contributes to making sure that the right amount of fungicide is there and the, uh, it's well distributed so that every seed is, is protected. Perfect, thank you so much, John. Actually, John, I think you actually get our lovely second question as well, which is, um, what can Clarion bring to the growing biological seed treatment segment since adding biologicals to current seed treatment chemistries can be a challenge? So can you um, speak at all to adding seed coatings and biologicals together? Right. I, I'm very familiar with uh, some of the challenges of formulating microbe type products, uh, lots of challenges uh, and special needs. Uh, I have a lot of experience in that field and certainly you want to start off with coatings that are compatible to begin with. So we do have a good range of products that are compatible with um, biologicals in general um, as a starting point and, and definitely the Pigment Red 112 products is one that I would start off right off the bat. It's fundamentally a, a good colorant for that. It doesn't have biological activity, extremely low uh, water solubility, so it's really, there's not a way of it getting in sufficient concent concentration to be toxic to the uh, organism. On top of that, there's very specific microorganisms, uh, quirks, and uh, that you have to address. And the types of project, projects that we're proposing here where we develop coatings with you would lo look at all that, and it would be really a matter of uh, focusing uh, the attention on the survival of the microbes to uh, make sure that your coating uh, does the job without hurting the microbes. 
Thank you so much, John. That was so informative. Um, Doreen, I think we're actually going to be able to get back to you now. Um, this person wanted to know if you could talk to us a little bit about what dyes and polymers you work with in uh, your C coatings, and if you could expand a little bit more on that. Well, if they're referring to the um, dyes, and the dyes specifically are, are limited only on what's approved by um, the EPA to be used in C treatments, so they have to be the 40 CFR. Very handsome, but primarily what we put into our C coatings is, uh, and as far as colorants go, is the Agrisur product line. Um, those are all um, products that were developed specifically for use in C treatment products. Um, for instance, the um, Agrisur Red 112 um, liquid dispersion um, that was formulated as an um, improvement over the Agrisur Red 482 um, product that, as it is um, more compatible and has a better compatibility with the uh, other other elements of, you know, what may be included in that seed treatment. So you get better compatibility, better shelf life, and better application performance. It's also got a, um, a more intense color. So um, what was, I think if that's what you're referring to as far as polymers. I mean, other than that, you can have like a binders and there's another, a, a number of other um, elements that can be included when you say polymers. But I think specifically where you were asking about was the colorants. Yes, thank you so much, Dory. Yeah. Back to you again, Doreen. Um, this, this is kind of a topic we didn't get to cover in our, our discussion already. Um, so what does environmental responsibility mean to uh, Clarient? And how does this show in your products? Okay, well, as far as environmental responsibility, we are really looking at, um, there's a number of, in, of um, issues that have come up um, you know, over the years. Um, first of all, there was a TSP um, issues, the tristeroflanol um, potential ban in Europe um, that we were, um, you know, we're, a lot of companies kind of scrambling, trying to reformulate their products to eliminate these. I mean, there's a there's been a number of things that um, have come up over the years, but um, what we, our environmental responsibility is to actually, before we are re required to do those um, adjustments to our formulations, um, we actually, um, are ahead of the game and like we are reformulating our products. And we, when we develop custom products, uh, we also do the same thing. We try to eliminate um, issues that we know that are going to be a problem with the, the environment. This also includes microplastics. Uh, microplastics are a, a biodegradability issue that's been um, flagged as something that um, we need to, and for environmental consciousness, um, we need to think about that and we have moved away from incorporating microplastics, anything that could be considered that into our formulations, and we are actively um, looking at actually upgrading all of our um, all of our um, product line to actually um, address these specific issues right now. So, in addition to that, we look at concentrating our products um, so that you can can fit more in a jug, so that you have less wet waste um, that you have to dispose of, um, and um, so there's there's just a lot of things that we do. I mean, it's um it's kind of a mentality, and the biggest thing is to keep abreast of the environmental situation and the concerns, um, and we try to address them before we're required to. And um, that's um I think kind of the focus of what you know what Clarion has um, has done and what Standard Colors has done, um, and we will continue to do that in the future. Thank you so much, Doreen. Um, I'm going to jump ahead in my questions a little bit just because you brought up microplastics. And John, um, we had someone who actually asked what the significance of the impacts of microplastics were on the environment. And I just wanted to know if you wouldn't mind adding on to what Doreen said in, in that moment. Well, she's quite right. Uh, we, we take uh, emerging issues such as microplastics very seriously. Um, there, you, you have to stay ahead of the game. You have to pay attention to what, what uh, is going to be an issue down the road so that you have good long-term sustainable products. I appreciate that people put a lot of development costs in, into developing these seed coatings. So you want them to be not forced off the market in the near future. Uh, what is the environmental issues of microplastics? Certainly it, it is a serious uh, environmental issue on the grand scheme of things. C treatments account for ex an extremely small fraction of that total uh, microplastics in the environment, but it is considered to be one of the controllable sources of microplastics. So the EU is pushing towards uh, eliminating that from C treatment products. So uh, the best thing for us and our customers is to eliminate that from our products. Thank you so much, John. Um... 
Doreen, I'd like to go and jump back to you a little bit. Um, someone else asked if you've explored technology such as decreased abrasion of seeds during sowing. So d is there anything you can add on to uh, help us answer that question? Um, yeah, that's a challenge that we are always consistently looking at. I mean, we're looking at um, formulating our products that we don't have. Um, you know, we're looking at flow properties all the time when we're developing a formulation. So we incorporate in technologies, um, some of which are um, proprietary, some of it, some of which is um, pretty well known in the seed treatment industry. Um, but we are always, that's one of the metrics that we're always looking at. So we're looking at what we are considering like rub off an abrasion, whether that's rubbing off against um, other seeds, whether it's rubbing off on um, the, the treating or plant, planting equipment, um, we are looking at all of it and we're always trying to optimize that. That's actually one of the metrics that we're always looking at whenever we develop any um, seed treatment formulation coding for any of our customers. Thank you so much, Doreen. We're actually going to jump over to Kevin now. Um, and Kevin, we have someone who wanted to know if you have any plans to develop and launch products such as this in uh, Brazil. It's always my favorite questions to get. So do you have any plans to uh, do any product launching? And maybe we'll just open that up to South America in general. Sure. Um, thank you for the question. The uh, the group that's responsible for this webinar, uh, we're responsible for North America, but uh, Clarient is a global company, and uh, you know that there are conduits to get products throughout the globe, including South America. So, if there's something specific of interest that can apply to that market and has worked well here, uh, you know, it it they they can perhaps access it through uh, through their local Clarion uh, uh, contact. Thank you so much, Kevin. Um, now, Doreen, I'm going to ask this question first to you and then uh, pose it to John as well. Um, but we, we've gotten a couple of questions along the same lines of how do you test the quality of the seed after treatment? Um, we, we've had things ranging from how do you evaluate rub off to, to different things like that. So can you talk a little bit about how you, uh, I guess, quality tests after treating? Right, sure. So um, whenever we, um, any product that we, of course, any formulation we develop the, and use is basically, look at stability is important, but you know, the application on the seed is also very, very important, probably the most critical importance of um, whatever product we develop. So um, we look at things, I mean, we, we have also uh, treaters in our labs. We look at treatment as far as um, color intensity, um, overall coverage, um, things like that. Um, that that's assessed. We also do wet and dry flow testing. We have a, um, we have a flow meters in our lab that we just um, invested in. So um, we have two different types and we look at that. So we access both um, the, when the seeds are wet and after they dry. Um, during that, we look at bridging um, to see if we have any bridging issues, which are the, the, the drying time, whether we have um, the seeds remain tacky for a long time or whether they dry in a um, fast enough fashion that it won't create any problems um, as far as with planting or bridging, um, getting caught in the hoppers or again, ca casting skips or doubles in um, the planting instruments. So uh, we look at that. Uh, we also look at, um, we look at uh, dust properties. Um, that's usually typically done with a Hoibach dust meter. Um, and that's typically what we do there. We look at um, rub off can to a certain extent be um, assessed with a Hoibach also, um, but we have also some proprietary methods as well as testing that we have um, developed ourselves to be able to um, look at that type of testing. Um, as, as, on top of that, you know, we have the capability um, as far as the quality, um, you know, actually looking at like the compatibility of like on soybeans, if you have like rhizobia issues with compatibility there. We also look at tank mix compatibility, um, mixing our, um, your, with the known, your, 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 your known, whatever our customers are, what they know we're, we're going to be tank mixed with, whether they're fertilizers or other, um, uh, other agriculture products or different additives that they're putting in there. Um, so we we kind of look at the whole picture and try to anticipate um, what um, needs to be done, even if it doesn't fall into our normal protocol of tests, we will develop it specifically for your needs. So John, do you have anything else you want to add? Well, that was a lot of stuff and that, <laughs> just, that was a reflection of, it. it's a very big question. Yeah. And that is what really what we bring to the table. We do have 
uh, an understanding of all those different factors and you can improve something on a seed treatment very easily. It's very difficult to get everything right at the same time. And it's really, it's not just the test, it's the experience. What, what's, uh, you know, what do you look at? It, it's looking at the seed while it's treating as much as all those tests combined. Uh, you just have to know what a good seed treatment looks like and, and what, uh, you know, how, how good treated seed will look and behave. And I, I think uh, that's something, there, there's another question in there. What, what are we bringing to the table that other polymers do not? And I think it's really a, an understanding of the whole range of um, the technology from, you know, we have experience running from in the lab, preliminary formulation screening to scale up testing, scale up production, scale up treating, full scale treating, uh, regulatory concerns, environmental concerns. So it's just a, the breadth of what we have is in terms of experience in the seed treatment market that really sets us apart from other other people in the uh, business. Um, it, you know, there's so many people so specialized now that it, it's hard to get a, a good holistic picture of what the seed treatment is, is like and uh, what's it going to take to make a great one out of it. Thank you to both of you. Um, John, since you brought up that question, I actually was going to pose it to everyone to see if anyone else had a uh, kind of comment on it. So uh, to Kevin, Lisa, and um, Doreen, what makes Clarion really different um, than other good polymer suppliers in the market? Uh, do, do you have an opinion on that that you want to share? So I'll jump in here. Um, you know, when I when I explained at the beginning about our strategic partnership, that really was born out of us under, understanding the agricultural market and what formulators were challenged with. Um, you know, it's more than just color. And I think that was the one takeaway. That's what we learned as a color and supplier as we worked, you know, especially across the U.S., um, North America, um, in, in talking with formulators, you know, there's so much that is, is being, um, asked of them to get everything into a formulation and running out of room and color is just a part of it. So I think what we bring to the table with this alliance with, um, the standard agro group is that we do understand color. We could match color all day long, but, you know, it's the challenges in really creating the right formulation for somebody. And that's where our collaboration really um, makes it easier for you, the formulator. You know, I would just like to add that uh, every circumstance for us is, is, is different. You're unique as a customer and we like to approach it that way rather than provide you something off the shelf and hope that it works. I think that the combination of our our, the strength of our technical products yeah, is is very solid, and, and yes, there are other people that have that. But at the same time, we also have uh, you know decades of experience in working with these kinds of products and providing you a solution rather than just a product off the shelf. And I I think that 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 goes a long way. Anybody who's worked in this business, there's so many different variations of circumstance, whether it be different kinds of equipment that they're working with and treating, or the, the variety of different seed issues that can occur in any given year. So we, we like to think that we've seen a lot of this in the past and we can apply that knowledge in, you know, helping you move forward. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, let's see. I, I just have a couple of questions written down left. Um, one question, I think this question is going to go back to, uh, to John and Doreen. Um, so you talked a little bit about all of this testing that you do to make sure the quality is still there. Um, but this person wanted to know if there was an effort to increase the solids content of the color formulations to take so as to take up less space in the treatment slurry. Um, is there anything you're working on kind of in that realm in terms of seed coatings? Well, yes, I think that um, we everybody would like a more concentrated product. And I think that we have worked very hard on um, concentrating our products um, to a 
fairly high level. Um, there's a big diff there's a difficult balance between um, getting you know enough solids in there um, while also maintaining um, the integrity of your dispersion. You don't want something that's going to solidify upon storage and things like that. So it's kind of a balancing act between that. But I think that there's always and um, we're always possibly looking at a way that we can um, you know look at um, concentrating dispersions. Don John, do you have anything else that you'd like to add there? Well, that's that's a good response. Thanks, Doreen. Uh, I would say that uh, if you're looking for concentrated red, definitely uh, our grosser red 112 dispersion is right up there at uh, the top end, ju just because of the nature of that pigment and how uh, high of a loading we can get into the uh, dispersion. So it, that's the that's the first step. That's uh, the rate of that typically is about 25 percent less than than the uh, Pigment Red 48.2 uh, products that are typically used as a red colorant in the sea treatment market in North America. So uh, there's one place you can start right off the bat. Perfect. Thank you, you two. Um, now, I think the last question I have of our Q&A session today is actually more of a fun one. It was a question someone posed in terms of colors you could put on a seed coating. So someone wanted to know, is it possible for you to do, um, I'll, I'll phrase it as any color, but they wanted to specifically know if you could make a transparent coating um, to be able to put on your seed? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I saw that question. It, it's, uh, yeah, I think it was a serious one about uh, a counterfeit proof, a counterfeiting application. I don't have much to say on that one. I don't have a, a quick off the top of my head answer on it. I think it's one that we have to take back and think about. Perfect. Well, thank you, guys. I, I thought it would be very fun to learn if there if transparent colors could be made too. Um, well, that's all the time we have for today, everyone. I'd like to thank you all um, for joining us and to all of our speakers for joining us. And we want to make note, if we weren't able to answer your question in our Q&A session, we will be trying to get in contact with you to shoot you an answer privately. Um, We'd also like to give a big thank you again to Clarion and Standard Colors for making this webinar possible. And if there's anything you missed from this webinar, please make sure to know that we should have a recording of this webinar available um, in the next couple of days at seedworld.com. Um, so we hope you all have a terrific day. And um, this is Alex Martin of Seed World signing off. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>